Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is Dyson Sphere Program with CJO. Hey. Hi. I'm gonna jump on you. I'm putting down a poop. No, stay still. I'm trying to jump on you. You said that I can you can we can stand on each other, but I'm my head to is jump too on. slick. It's probably because you're red. Yeah. Ah! Hey. Almost. <laughs> All right. So so we got rid of merch storage and it made things better. Yes, things Apparently. actually work a little bit better. That's nice. All right, so yeah. about that oil and uh, structure matrix, yellow science. We got to. Oh, well, I, get, I noticed that we were short cracking. on silicon, so I was actually just going to go and do a silicon run. Mm. Getting distracted. Classic. Always. Always. <laughs> I, uh, I'll go to Mercury, or sorry, Venus, and I'll do the same. Pick okay. up that one. And then. We need to get yellow structure because that way we can stop having to do these trips ourselves. Bye. 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 Oh, hey, while you're flying, I can I can teach you how to how to do the bookmark thing. Remember? Oh, yeah. Because you were asking. All right. So are you flying yet? No, not yet. I'm I'm dropping my stuff off. If you use the storage chest mark two, it should accept your whole inventory in one. Yep. Which planet are you going to again? Mercury. Ah. Okay, I'm going to Venus. Did you know that Mercury is the closest planet to every other planet in the solar system? It's the closest planet to every other planet in the solar system. Uh-huh. On work? average, Mercury is the closest to every planet. Like, it's the closest to Jupiter, it's the closest to Mars, it's the closest to Earth. There's a video on YouTube about it. It might not make sense thinking no, it about doesn't... it, like, for the first time, but it does make sense after watching the video. It's because of orbits, right? So, like, Mercury is the closest to the Sun. So, like, half of the time, say, if Earth is on one side of the sun and Jupiter's on the other side of the sun, that distance is X or whatever. Oh, because... okay. So, on average, it's always the closest. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So, it's an interesting little factoid. And it's totally true. Okay, so bookmarks. Yeah, so while you're looking at the bookmark thing, in the bottom left-hand corner, uh -huh. there, there's a button that says target. That's yes. actually a toggle. You cycle through it. So, right now, it's on target mode, like, target to go there, click it once. That's bookmark mode. Now you're able to add bookmarks. Even Third though it's a <laughs> Where Oh, you? you mean? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, click, bookmark. Click. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So yeah, then you can add your bookmark. Go back to target mode, and then yeah, that's how you do it. Delete. Took me a while to remember, but yeah. I can just delete places. Fantastic. And I swear there is a, a way to rename planets, but I don't. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can just click on it. <laughs> there. My planet, my rules, name a planet. I just got an achievement. Nice. This place is just always devoid of power. It just ended up flying like upside down. I don't know how to navigate while solar sailing very well. I don't have a lot of practice with it. fun keep oh. on forgetting to bring the uh i don't have any wireless power towers on this planet so i have to wait a long time to get enough energy yeah i'm the same hmm. it's a good thing Probably. we've got this forty thousand sulfuric acid in the storage tanks <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was all excited about it and i haven't used it for anything
I really need to bring some solar panels to Mercury and get solar on the opposite side of the planet. <laughs> because I, I just flew over here and I've got like hardly any resources. Okay, let's just fly back and I'll do that. There's no point in me fucking waiting here. Music is awesome. The immersiveness of flying between planets is just so enjoyable. And you haven't even seen warp yet. Like, we're just sailing between planets. We get to, we get to fly at the speed of light. Like, we're in a Borg, like a Borg uh, trans warp conduit. It's basically a Borg, the, a Borg cube. No, conduit, transwork. I've just accidentally entered the orbit of a planet. <laughs> That's impressive. There goes all my sail speed. Damn it. Stupid solar system. How close can you get to the sun before you die? You don't. Oh, cool. Because I'm, I'm just, just about to slingshot past it. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can Ooh. like get caught. Like I think it, the closer you get, the gravity is kind of high and it mm. difficult to escape its gravitational pull yeah i'm at 52 meters per second at the moment sail speed i gotta fly around it otherwise i'm gonna have that same problem when i like collide with it i was i was hoping that i would get like whipped in and whipped back out but i must have went far too close it's it's uh i think it might be easier to do that if you don't use the cruise assist Mm. Cruise Assist constantly tries to take you to the right place. Cruise Assist is not part of the base game. You're supposed My God, to... I'm at 40, 40 meters per second, 39 meters per second. Oh my God. 29. Am I going to pass you? 28, where, where are you? 27, 26. Oh no. Oh, I see. You. Okay, I'm, I'm, to... get, I'm getting, I'm getting power. Okay, right, we're back at hundred. I'm about to pass you. I see you. I see you. Where are you? Uh, I, can, I can't. You? I can see you on the star map, but I can't see you in the regular map right now. Oh right, yeah, I see. You are coming up on my right in theory, somewhere. Nope. Oh. I'm passing you. Uh, you might oh, be yeah, too I small. Oh yeah, I see you. I see you. <laughs> you see me in the real world, or yeah, the... yeah. <laughs> you're, I can Where see your little you? pills. Where are you? <sighs> I'm sad. I wanted to run into you. Oh, that's so fun. I can't believe that. <laughs> I'm literally in this massive Is area it? of space, and I just see your little fucking jets going. Isn't it beautiful? It's so immersive. I love it. I'm not normally an aesthetics type person, you know, I'm more of a mechanics and numbers and but this game just like brings out the little geeky girl in me. <laughs> Is that you back on Earth now? No, I had this I'm still speeding up, I'm at seven fourteen. Oh. I'm uh Yeah, the sun really the sun really fucked me. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get better at flying. I mean I thought cruise assist was was smart enough, you know. Well, it does draw a line right through the sun. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see that you're going to hit it. <laughs> well, I mean, it didn't go through the sun. It was going, like, tangential to the sun. Mm. I'm going to try and land on the correct part of Earth. Mm. There's no way I can do that. I just, I'm stuck on, I'm near the solar ring. I don't know where in the planet this is, but actually, I think you're behind me. Nope, you're orbiting. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you okay. probably crashed. Fuck. Damn, jump the gun. I thought I had enough power to solar sail, but I didn't.
God, that second when it's like loading the planet in. No. I feel like there should be a button to orient the planet along the horizontal axis, but because like when I'm looking at the planet, it looks like I'm walking north, but I'm theoretically following the equator. Suddenly there's a Stegio behind me. Boom. Okay, I'm, I'm here. I, I figured it out. I, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, that was entirely wasted. And it took me too long to get back, so... And I'm fully charged. <laughs> so good, so nice. fast. Because <laughs> you, you shit here. Okay, I've got a ton of solar panels. Yeah, you know what? See you there, bitch. You're supposed to be doing structure matrix. <laughs> God, if you keep, if you keep not doing it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw down a blueprint. <laughs> I need, but we need fucking thingy. What thingy? We need silicon. I just deposited a ton of silicon. Oh, oh I didn't know you were doing that. Yeah, I did this. I, I also did. I said I was gonna do a silicon run as well, just so that. Uh. Venus was tapped. So yeah, we've got uh, basically one of the full storage two Mark Mark II storage chests is full of silicon right now. <laughs> Venus the Venus. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I did that. It just seemed like the right choice at the time. There we go. So I'm actually taking my full inventory back to Mercury to uh, actually have a making the silicon. I thought there's no point in me flying back and then leaving Mercury to, you know, like, have no proper production on it. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, I understand. More of Stejo not doing his job. No, oh, why did I do that? Why? 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 No, <laughs> stop. <laughs> the fucking... I find it so difficult to actually control my robot in space. <laughs> like, I've, I've literally just flew past Venus. Oh, without <laughs> using uh, Cruise Assist? You're trying to do it manual? I was using Cruise Assist and I tried to, like... Fiddle well, with it. Okay, so all you have to do is is uh, middle mouse click drag to like change your view angle, and then hold W, and he'll try to fly toward your W. Like he'll try to fly in the direction you're looking. Right. So like if you're gonna collide with the sun, you just look to the left a little bit and hold W long enough that you move out of that path. Right. But obviously, you need um. You need fuel some errors. You're going to get some errors, because I'm going to do a blueprint. I just turned sticky keys on by accident. <laughs> <laughs> when in, this, in the history of forever has, has anyone, anyone ever wanted to turn keys? on yeah. sticky keys? That's stupid, stupid thing. Like. Fucking nonsense. Do solar panels have a little area of connectivity around them? Oh, like they yes. will connect to each other, yeah. Yeah, they do, yep.
will consume 300,000 soil pile to try to extend the solar. Okay. 300? Oh, soil pile. 300,000 soil pile. Yep. I'm trying to add a second ring to our solar since uh, I okay. have nothing, nothing to do right now. Figure we'll always need more power. <laughs> Was like, some bullshit. I got nothing to do. He's gallivanting off across the solar system. Yeah, I, I do. I do feel a little bit like the ne the neglected housewife here. We were <laughs> gonna do a nice Sunday brunch, and then yeah, you I'm just gonna... fucked off. You just oh, fucked uh, off to Venus or we, you know, wherever the hell. <laughs> like, we'll make it back. Uh, right, I need to toss down these wireless power towers so that I've got somewhere to charge, and then. Generate more than 180 megawatts of electricity on a planet using solar panels. It's kind of a random number, isn't it? 180? Why, why 180? I have no idea. So, yeah, we're currently generating 110 at the moment. Our generation capacity, 110. You looking at the... Uh... Power tab? Yeah, on oh. um on Mercury. Oh on Mercury. Yeah. Yeah, we need thirty and I'm generating hundred and nine at the moment. I think you got the achievement because I'm adding power here. Ah, okay. It's actually funny that I could probably quite easily beat the generation on Earth. Yeah, you just add a couple. Yeah. Well, with 900% with power output, what we could do, we almost have all the tech necessary for it. We need accumulators. We need to make a bunch of accumulators. And then what we do is we send accumulators to Mercury to get filled and then have a logistics vessel bring them back and then we can unload the power here. Oh, yeah. I remember you says that we can... That's one way of getting remote power to places. Or you just build a Dyson Sphere. Because the Dyson Sphere can send power anywhere. In a, in a, in a star, obviously. Yeah. So there's no way to send power, apart from accumulators, there's no way to send power from a planet like, to another planet. So like beam it? Yeah. Um, I guess essentially the way that you would do it is... Um, Either you got you can do the accumulator thing, or you can you can take I forget what it's called. It's just like a it's like a black item. It's uh, I can probably look it up if I look in Hell Mod. Let me see one second. My chemical. Uh, antimatter. So you create antimatter, and then the antimatter, the antimatter itself can be burnt in a artificial star. Oh, uh, okay. So basically, we put down like a little fake star. I, I usually imagine the uh, remember in Spider-Man, the original three three ones where he fights Doc Ock and he wants to create that little fusion thing. Yes. It's like that. It's like okay. a little fusion star. That's how you would. And then the solar, so the, the Dyson Sphere can't send power, but it can send photons. It'll beam the photons directly to anywhere in the in the solar system, and then you can create antimatter and then burn them. Or just have vessels fly antimatter places, because usually when you go into a new star, you don't have a Dyson Sphere yet. So you just import uh, antimatter. Well, I didn't quite get around the entire of Mercury with the solar panels that I had on me. But I did get very close. Okay, so... 350, 357 megawatts worth of power. Yes, I'm coming back. <laughs> yes, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Stop nagging me. So, but at least manufacturing is um, back on track for Mercury. Oh, 
I always feel like I waste so much fuel just getting into orbit. Yeah. And um, I'm pretty sure that the size of a planet does affect how like, difficult it is to break orbit. Like how much power you need. Yeah. That's why I'm we need to get those Earth. upgraded fuel. Fuel rods. Oh, can we get full, full speed? Hey. There we go. 1,000 meters per second. Take me 45 seconds to get back to Earth. Yeah, it would be nice if we could, like, target the specific area on Earth that we wanted to land at with cruise assist. I guess that's asking too much. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm like, can we, can we just, you know, add Kerbal Space Program to this builder game? <laughs> sure, no problem. Why not? I need to collect soil. We're out of soil for paving the. Oh really? For paving the the equator, murdering the ocean. Actually, there are some planets. You might want to do this. Take foundation with you. Uh, at least a little bit everywhere you go, and then like, like on Mars or Venus or something. If you notice that it's really hilly and stuff, you can actually just foundation that planet to collect a lot of soil pile, and somehow soil is obviously just instantly transported from this planet to the other planet because that's how the game oh, does useful. it so yeah if you get like a really hilly planet it's good to get soil oh you're terraforming i was like why the fuck is my game hitching yeah i'm murdering places that have hills just so i can collect soil pile back up to 300k sorry about the performance but i have run out of foundation Right. Okay, so we've got silicon. I was making prisms um, so that I could build uh, what do you call them faster? Yep. yep. What do you call them? What do you call them? Oh my god. <laughs> I just Sorry. placed like a lot of fucking shit everywhere. The nice thing about this is that once it's done, the planet will be nice and perfectly flat. Oh. Have you actually gone to a pole yet to, to see how they handle the grid crunch? It's kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, I looked. Kind of strange how Icarus doesn't have to use bots to place foundation. Like he just he yeah, just I thought looks, that was interesting. Yeah, I just he looks at it and the mountains and the trees, everything just disappears. <laughs> we have two million soil now. And I'm out of foundation. What the fuck? No, not that. I want a storage crate. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck is my inventory so full? Well, I totally forgot. well, I went to a different planet and picked up a lot of stuff. Oh, right. Makes sense. Are those littered items yours or? Yeah, I'm just grabbing them now. It was just some prisms anyway. Right, I've got prisms getting stored so I no longer have to co cock it, cock it craft prisms. Right, now where's the oil refinery? I need stone. Yeah, I'm already requesting these magnet things. 
that I do not have. I need stone wherever the fuck that's been produced. Can you imagine if the sun rose as fast as it does? <laughs> like in the morning, instead of a nice slow sunrise, it was just like, surprise, good morning. <laughs> it just like pops up like really fast. I think they say that the Earth's actually in a decaying orbit. I think it's a... Yeah. Or is it the other way around? I don't know. I haven't heard that. No, I think does it's the other way the sun, around. We're going to fall into the sun eventually? I think it's the other way yeah, like but fucking billions of years. So it's like technically so later, I, later as, as one life. as one way or the other. So the days are either getting longer slowly but surely, or they're getting shorter slowly but surely. All right, oh, see, Joe. Okay. I can only play solar for so long. Are you? Are we, are we getting I'm, science? I'm, I'm, what are we doing? I'm building shit. What are you building? Oil refineries. It sounds like science. Nice. Oh, okay, I'm short of prisms now. Yeah, it takes a lot of resources to get oil refineries up and going. It's almost like we are probably expected to automate that. Production of yeah, production totally. of those. Uh, right. I mean, I guess I could. But this is it. We need the entire place refactor. It's bullshit. You know what? You know what? You know what? Just you know do what? it. Just you know rip what? stuff up. It's fine. Fuck. You can destroy everything. Fuck hell mod just now. Let's just get some fucking science being made. Let's bootstrap this for a science so that we can get to the point where we're happy enough refactoring the entire bloody place. Okay. You you done the absolute opposite of what you were gonna do. You know that? I did? Yeah, we were gonna be building solar south of the equator and you went even further north. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, have no, I no. have I been playing the game upside down this entire time? I think yeah. I have. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. walking south. I'm yeah, exactly. Sure I did it right. <laughs> <laughs> so the entire time I've been playing, this has been north to me because I just assumed that fuck it was. <laughs> so, oh no, no. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> oh. I feel like I need to, like, I feel like I need to turn my camera now so the north <laughs> is north, but now, like, the entire factory looks backwards. <laughs> nope, ain't gonna yeah, happen. Well, that, that's what gets super just, like, like, you get super confused. When we get more tech and we have logistics, planetary logistics stations, they're so big that you start to use them as, like, a land feature, like, to identify where you're trying to fly to and stuff. But then, <laughs> then where there was once one or two, there's suddenly like 30 on your planet and you have no idea where you are. And that's what happens to me. Great. All right, so, all right, we, so need, we need to bring science. up energetic graphite and that's pretty much all we need up here. Okay, that's just coal. Um. Oh, and titanium. And that's it. Okay, so you want to run the, you want to just move the titanium storage over here or do you want to run the line? From our storage um, I guess area. we can run a line for now. Or nah, just move it. Just move it. It's not even that far big, is it? We only have one one little bit of it. Here, I'll grab as much as I can. Fly over there. This is why we need more robots. Alright, so where do you want it? Does it matter? Yeah, south south of the equator is what I meant that we were going to be building stuff. Ah, so I did it right, and you just were confused. So you want me to delete that bottom layer then? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't make much difference. Slightly south. If you look at the line, it's like. No, I know, but it doesn't make much difference. It's just a single layer. 
All right, so I'll, that I'll go the there. other direction from now to make you happy. Yes, that's what I meant but, when when we were. Yeah, I just it makes had sense my... in hindsight. Like you did, you did make all of this buildable area. So, yeah, I get it. But yeah, I just had my north and south confused. Okay. All right. So storage. Oh, done that thing again. Patini mingot. I'll go collect some more. If we had long arm properly working, we could just click on these entities if they're visible. Yeah, I've got I've got some money. I'm a logistics vessel. <laughs> Coming in for landing. Boop. So oil refinery. Do they yes, so if we do this way. Did uh, did you bring coal, or do you want me to go get some coal? Uh, if you want to grab a line of coal. All right. I assume that there's some coal nearby. I think we should just take there off of no the line that we already coal. have. There is no coal nearby. Nah, we can do this. We can do it. We got we got tapped coal over there. I mean, if you want me to find a new untapped coal, I can, but it does not look like it's going to be anywhere near us. Oh yeah, coal was a fucking nightmare to find. There's 1.7 million near the blue pole, which I would assume is the south pole. There's a blue pole and a red pole. <laughs> Depends which on which. <laughs> oh, the blue pole has an untapped one. But that is... Where the hell are we right now? We're here? Yeah, we're here. It's like all the way at the... It's on the other side of the pole. It's like the other... So the freaking planet. Coal, one out of three, it says. So there's only two more deposits of coal that we haven't tapped. So oh. if you want a fresh support, or sorry, fresh supply, we do need to go get that one. I'll go. Fine, I'll do it. Fine. I think it's this way. Do, 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 do. Do you get the song stuck in your head yet? No, not or really. Not, I, I just want to zone it out, to be fair. It's it's nice. It's not, like, intrusive. It's I like the music a lot. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad is the opposite. Or not the opposite, but it's, like, not exactly high praise. To say something not, not bad. Are you wanting to bring goo over here? We can start gooing stuff as well. I would assume we should, yeah. I mean, it's uh, we're it's using our titanium, right? So, the titanium is kind of like a luxury resource, sort of. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. So, we don't want to X-ray crack up here. If we X-ray crack, it means that we wouldn't use the. We wouldn't need the coal. Uh, I thought X-ray cracking was the way to turn coal into essentially oil. No, it's, Am I you change oil into coal. By X-ray cracking. You do? Okay. Yeah, so you you turn oil into refined oil and hydrogen, and then you chain, turn that into coal and more hydrogen. Alright, so... You either want this coal or not. <laughs> Am I bringing it over or not? <laughs> uh, no, just leave, leave it, leave the coal. Well, too bad. I've already built it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna not tap it now that I've got it tapped. That'd be silly. Pretty sure I'm supposed to go this way. I have no idea. I want
We need to start getting uh, tier two and tier three built and tier two and tier three sorters automated as well. Anytime you want to get on that, just go right ahead. I'm not yeah, going to we'll stop do. you. Okay, so you're bringing coal up anyway. Yeah. I okay. mean, coal and oil are like, they go together. Because we're always going to need to make energetic graphite. I remember that from previous playthroughs. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're always going to make energetic graphite. We can make it with oil. Okay, do it. Oil's not permanent, it's finite. Oh, I thought oil was permanent. I mean, it is essentially, but if you like look at the Earth, like we're down to 47.83 oil per second now. So every, as we mine it, the available oil supply does go down. It was faster. The refined oil's faster. Boy. Am I going in the right direction? Where's Stejo? Oh, I'm a tip. I'm a tip, I'm a tip, I'm a tip, I'm a tip. I need to be flying... That way? I guess? Uh... <laughs> this is the worst coal belt ever. I don't care. This I don't care. Fine. I've started this and I will complete it. The coal will be arriving on schedule. Notice that our robots are actually getting pretty darn efficient at uh, Placing keeping shit. up. Yeah. yeah, like trying to place a belt that just goes really far is like way easier now than it used to be. They actually keep up. I don't like how when you are trying to place belt, if there, if there's like a height, like a, a hill or something, you can't see all of the dots until you place it. Like you can place belt, but you can't see that the belt's going to be placed until they place it because they gotta flatten it. You know. How do I drop Basically. shit on the ground? I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, it's delete. <laughs> Fucking random pieces of oil. By the way, <laughs> part of the reason why I'm really wanting to get the structure science is that if we get 50 structure science, we can research the the this uh wait oh my god it doesn't even require yellow science to get planetary logistics we just need to research this that gives us the basic planetary logistics tower so it's not interplanetary it's just within this planet only but one of the mods that we have is the planetary mining mod so it allows logistics powers to mine and we can just mine any of the resources that we want anywhere on the planet and we don't have to build coal around anymore oh so that's like part of that mod okay. yeah and I, I think I, I think we left that one on because I figured by the time we got to the point where we were doing logistics vessels that you would also probably be annoyed with this part of the game the acquiring resources part because I don't I don't particularly like this part of the game it wouldn't bother me if you know, like, Factorio has a, a neat solution for it. You know, like, you build trains and, like, you do that sort of thing, like a mass transit solution, which is a fun, like, aspect of it. But this is just like, okay, now run a fucking huge belt. Yeah. Yep. Um, well, we're going to solve, I mean, we're going to get robots soon. And the robots basically function like the little logistics robots, except between planet, uh, between stations, like RoboPorts. Right. But but instead of having like a whole bunch of storage chests like in Factorio, this the towers themselves are the storage chests. 
You'll see in just a sec. So here's coal. I don't, I mean, whatever. There's a belt of coal. Don't ever follow that belt. Okay. None of the what? belts lines are straight. Oh my it days. Ran, it randomly changes directions because I got turned around and I had to reacquire my north. My where's the sea Joe? <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> don't, I said don't look at it. Stop it. <laughs> All right. So that was planetary logistics, which does. Now we can build the. Oh, don't plan. Can we planetary plan? logistics oh, station. Requires oh, 40 okay, okay, processors. Okay. I need silicon plate. I'm just going to handcraft the first one because I don't want to automate things. That's that huge okay. thing that we. Uh... Oh, you think that thing's huge? Just you wait. Right, it's so I need a, a chemical it, plant it, for it, a It's final. a little tower. I don't... I don't understand. Don't understand what? So... Don't level that. Uh, we need an assembler. Oh, we don't have the tech to make particle containers, apparently. Okay, I need th some arc smelters oh. making energetic graphite. Or do we? All right, we need this magnetic particle trap. Allows us to make particle containers and a new entity that I am not familiar with, a tunneling exciter. Oh, baby. Tunneling exciters can perfectly control the quantum tunneling effect and are often used to enhance the processing and error correction capabilities of quantum chips. Quantum tunneling effect can also easily break through the energy barrier of the curved space, making it possible to open the warp crack in any space far away. Those are words. <laughs> I like that it does that. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like stupid while playing the game, and other times I feel smart because it's like, yeah, I totally understand. That's why I can warp through space. Sure. Yeah, of course. That is my space warp. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I need I need coal bringing in. Okay. Let's grab. I think we're getting kind of low on silicon again. Oh. I might go do another run. Well, I'm basically just waiting for this tech to finish. And then I can build that planetary thing. The game, I think, gets a lot easier really soon. Once you get your first... Just seeing you like rocket Robo past ports. my screen. <laughs> like, Roboports, right? Like, until in Factorio, when you get Roboports, suddenly... Everything it's like yeah, opens a up. new game. The yeah. game within the game. And we're about to get there, but this this part can be painful. Trying to figure out what you're trying to figure out right now is. It's a, it's not hard, but it's just there's a lot of steps, right? All this oil stuff. It's like figuring yeah. out oil in Factorio for the first time. Do you want to bring goop over? Sure. Or I could just make a new goop. We have a coal feed right here. Do Anywhere you, you have coal, you can five, just six, make a goop blueprint. So here, go blueprints. You want tier two self goop goop. Am I okay to build there, or is that gonna interfere? Uh, Would you like no, that should maybe be fine. A, I could build it on the other side of the solar and then just belt it over. 
so that it's not in our like buildable area. I mean, I I'm setting this up to be built like up into the right, so as long as it's not up into the right of me, which you're up pretty into you're the pretty right. Safe. So you mean or down south? into the right, south into the right? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> But just to be clear, you expect to build from this belt that I'm placing right now. Yeah, like, roughly, yeah. Like in that direction. Okay. Hmm, forgot that this do you need actually need do you actually need this coal? Should I do a splitter or do you I need to maybe make this belt faster? Because there is a lot of coal over there. I'll do a splitter. It's fine. Oh. Where do you want your goop? Uh, we've got a, a roll oh, here. Run it through there? Okay. That's my goop roll. And there's your goop. Awesome. Okay, the next thing we need is plastic then. Which is a chemical plant. Could you go ahead? We need a little bit of graphene to make the first stuff. Are you... Graphene's not part of structure science, right? No. So we do need to get a little bit of basic graphene production if we want to make things easier for ourselves. So that is chemical plant. There's two ways to make graphene. One is to combine sulfuric acid with energetic graphite. The other is to use fire ice. So we need energetic graphite plus sulfuric acid. And this planet doesn't have sulfuric acid. Bum, bum, bum. I feel like we should priority split this. So that the goop's priority. Okay, however you want to do it. It's fine. Uh, I was thinking I'm going to speed up the this belt. Have you used the upgrade tool yet? Uh, no, Watch I haven't, th actually. Watch this. Does so you, you press press U. Yep. And then hover over a belt. Yep. And press shift. And then just yep. shift click. Oh, okay. And it'll upgrade that segment as far as your construction range. So notice how it stopped upgrading here because I was out of build range, but you could just upgrade uh, specific okay. build segments. That's cool. I don't, I don't think I'm going to have enough to actually get all the way over there, though. We don't have automatic pilers yet. But Oh, that's I'll right. Up... That just it piles the ore, doesn't it? Or... Yeah, it's the same thing. Basically, instead of having to run a, a whole level 2 belt, you can just have a, a pile. Pile it a little bit. Ah, okay. Okay. But so piles and structure. belt speed are extra. Like, so they, they add on top of one another. Yeah. So, like, if you had a two-piled coal on a green belt, it would be four yellow belt worth of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this belt is probably way too long to try to upgrade. Easier to just run a second yellow belt, probably. but now I'm stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> I've started now. I've started and I'll just handcraft all of the blue belt or green belt that we need to, to get there because I'm too lazy to automate green. Too lazy to automate. What? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I'm just literally just waiting for the point that I'm like, yeah, just use the blueprints. And then I'll be like, right, rocket ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty that Dyson sure. Sphere. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that that point will come when we get to... Once we have all our robots flying around and stuff, it's it's gonna be like, okay, all right, we got yeah, blueprints. Blueprints are good, let's use blueprints. But I don't wanna rob you of solving chemistry. It's like playing Angel's, Angel's like petroleum mod or whatever, and then not, not interacting with it at all. That'd be silly, right? <laughs> I don't know, can you remember Angel's petroleum mod? I don't think that's silly. <laughs> I think it's probably not, best not to interact with it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had deleted that from my memory on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I probably would never have remembered um, that 
again until you said something. Petrochem. Yeah. Petrochem. So yeah, the blueprint for goop, right? It's just so convenient. I have coal, therefore I have goop. Done. Yeah. Love it. So uh, goop's running. So what's slowing down goop, or is it just does it take a little while to start? Start going. It takes a little while to start. Okay. Yep. Just one coal belt. Um, let me just double check here. Coal's being used over here at ninety per minute. That's one hundred and eighty per minute. And then we we've got four arc smelters. We need to loop the goop so that the, the coal's getting gooped before it goes into the... Oh yeah, true. Yeah, should do that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's a goop but, for you. But that would also require gooping some of the internal products as well, right? Like the... Oh, would it? Yeah, like the diamonds aren't being gooped. Well, I mean, the coal into the arc smelter... Like, yeah, that still... at least helps oh, a little bit, yeah. Because yeah. it's uh, 240 coal per minute is what it's using for the arc smelters, and then 90, so we've got... 60 times 4 plus 90. So you're saying so that your self-gooping using... goop doesn't fully self-goop? I could update it if you want. Mm, that's ridiculous. It wouldn't be as compact though, look at that. I know, that's the problem. Uh, right, what was the other thing for this? Uh, the refined oil, okay. Were you gonna run that over there? Or I, I, I could probably do it. What's that? Run what? Run the goop over to the coal. I see you uh, put down a. I, I just placed the thing because I had I had spare goopers. Okay. There. That should goop the coal. Way easier to call it goop, right? Yes. I've already forgotten what it actually. I, I couldn't tell you. Proliferator Mark One. Proliferator. Proliferator. Goop. <laughs> exactly. Because you spray it. It's a spray. Would you spray goop, though? Yes. I don't want you to, like, confuse my worldview. Yes, I, I do. I would. Yep. It's goop. <laughs> Point. It's goop. I don't think I would spray plurif pro proliferate, though. Oh, God. What does that word mean? Proliferate. It's, it's something that proliferates. Oh god, this belt's so long. There's no way I'm gonna get enough blue or a tier 2 belt to... Screw it. Just gonna run to yellow. Listen, you're no quitter, I, I remember. I just want a planetary miner. I don't want to ever mine again. I'm so, I'm so done with mining. I like that the plastic rods come out and... Yep, you guessed it. They are just a square. <laughs> of course, everything's a cube. They don't even have like they don't even have like the logo on top to tell you that it's plastic rods. No, no. I think it's self-evident. Yeah, quite obvious. Quite obvious that that is a cube of plastic rods. <laughs> Isn't there something sort of like simplest, like simple about it though? It's like it's just a. It's nice that every item is a cube. I think. Right. Okay, I'm disagree? making organic crystal with water, refined oil, and plastic in a chemical plant. Oh, and I need glass. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I can't believe that I lied to myself this entire playthrough and I thought that south was north. Yeah. Yeah, that's strange, like... You would assume that you would be able to look at the world in the bottom left corner and see which direction is up. Well, not really. When you as a fucking ball, mate. Okay, fine. Walk it back. Walk it back. Yeah. It's not un unreasonable. It's not outrageous that you can't see north and south. <laughs> if they had a big... I think it's interesting. Mm. Oh right, that's. I think it's it. interesting that you've been trying to like keep keep your orient your vision your orientation the same. The whole time i i just spin around and get get myself lost by the way I the just, upgrade tool can also be used to downgrade 
Ah, it's the only way that I can I can stay not lost. Which is why I was like, oh shit, am I gonna have to keep south as like north, or can I spin a spin a rooney? <laughs> My core energy will deplete soon. Well, that's no fucking good, is it? I need belt. Be right back. Of course, I'm not really anywhere near you, but bye. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> fucking miles away. Be right back. <laughs> just in case you look, just in case you're looking for me. <laughs> Do you want me to bring you some fuel? Uh, no, no. The, I I had some. The the robots were. They put it in your inventory, but they didn't put it in your chest. Yeah. Lazy bastards. Stupid, stupid robots. They should try what? harder. Oh, I've got 63 fucking blue science for some reason. That's what happens when you're working on science belts. Sort of clutters your inventory and then... Yep. I usually just delete it. It's not that yeah, big of a deal. Yeah, I'm literally to... just throwing it just now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're, we're getting to the, the, the point of a post-scarcity world. I remember. I'm excited for that. I just need a little bit of graphene, please. So that I can show you the beautiful system for mining from now on. So I don't think I need to goop. Oh my god, I need conveyor belts. I just picked all of them up. I'll uh Why is that not I'll... why is that not roboted? I remember. Uh good question. You want me to I can do though. But here I'll Dump some. Oh, I see. I didn't realize you were back so fast. This, this is probably the easiest way to give you some. Fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, I almost have a second yellow belt of coal, which would support, should support the energetic carbon and the the goop production. Although the goop production isn't, it doesn't really need to be that high up here. Not for a long time anyway, because you're not going to be, you're not going to be using enough to. Uh, did you get the out. fractionator working? Nope. I. Oh. Nope. You just gave up. I have a blueprint for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, just like, did you build a fractionator and didn't do it? I like... have one, and then you told me I built it in the worst possible place, so I deleted it and walked away. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> this is fucking done. <laughs> fucking shit. Once again, do not look. Do not look at this, these belts. Needs liquid sources. Needs foundation support. Needs liquid sources. Needs. Oh, I was. That's because I was building up the wrong way fucking around. Okay. I don't know how many waters we'll need. I was going to say, oh, I bet there's no point fucking gooping water, but no, there is a point in gooping water, because if you don't goop water, then the rest of this shit doesn't work. Yep. Better goop the water. Alright, we have two yellow belt of coal coming in up here now. So that'll be good. Uh, you wanted me to attach a logistics hat to the uh, belt, I think it was. I guess I'll go do that. Yes, please. Not an unreasonable thing. I need graphene, though. Without graphene, I can't make my logistics tower of awesome. What would you need graphene? Like, what needs gra How? How make graphene? How make? How make with energetic graphite sulfuric acid. So I either need to go collect a little bit of sulfuric acid from Venus and just bring it over. I can't carry uh, much, yes. but I can I carry remember. some. Or we need to do the, the stupid way of making it, which is to mix refined oil, water, and stone. So we have, you have water and stone right there, right? Sorry, water and oil. I have water and oil. We could just have one chemical plant making sulfuric acid just to trickle bootstart this system. Make some crappy graphene. Yeah, can do. If you want to bring some stone up, I'll make a, another chemical plant. Oh, there's no stone over there? Damn it. I don't know. I don't know. Did you not delete some stone at some point? Oh, yeah. There's stone right nearby that uh, is 
either not visible or is visible. One of the two must be true, probably. Uh, I need a logistics hat. It's called a logistics distributor. Can we rename right. that? No, that we can rename planets. Can we rename logistics <laughs> distributors to logistics hats, please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, I need to make a few bots. Hmm. Bollocks. I keep forgetting that... No, actually, that's fine. I was going to say, I keep forgetting that power exists. Like, things need powering. Oh, yeah, like electrical lines? Yep. Yeah. Well, we, uh, we do almost have the tech to... Where is it? We just, we really need to get this, this yellow structure research started so that we can... A lot of the stuff gets easier with yeah. what's coming. Anyway, uh, the flashy flash, he's flashing you got me. It oh, is it? Again. Oh, shit. Oh, that's uh -oh. No did good. you not record? Did you not record the episode? No, I recorded it. I just didn't, like, I had my, my Discord over the top of the flashy flashy. Ah, okay. So I'm going to queue a uh, reinforced thruster, which is just a, an upgraded thruster for logistics vessels instead of logistics bots. So just, just so you know that it is a thing that's happening. Okay. It is a lot of red science. Okay, uh, so who brought us in? I think it was you. Uh, it was possibly me. But that doesn't mean that I want to bring us out. Oh, I see what's happening. You because you'll all be like, forward. you'll all be like, yeah, oh, I need to stream now, and I'll be yeah, like, no, yeah, man. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, you think that I'm gonna try to hide or run away, and so you just, oh, I don't see the flashy, flashy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So my like, Discord. <laughs> yeah, let's. I just know. I want to keep playing too, thing. but <laughs> yeah, Victoria Three coming out soon. I gotta play Victoria Three. Logistics hat. I should have one more logistics hat. See, okay. even I you, am... you're like, oh, fucking logistics hat though. Well, I don't want to forget. I'll forget between... So I only put two logistics bots into them, so they're not going to be able to move very much. But if you do request belts and sorters, those are both now attached. Sorter Mark 1s. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm going to request like 100. And sort of right. mark ones. Okay. You wanted me to do stone and make oil. I, I feel like if we're just trying to bootstrap the sulfuric acid, that it might make sense to just go collect a, 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 a bit inventory of... full of sulfuric acid. Yeah. 10 by 6 rows. So I can do 10 times 6 times 20. I can bring 1,200 sulfuric acid in one trip. How much like oil would it take to make 1,200 sulfuric acid? Six oil becomes four sulfuric acid. Feels like a waste of oil. 1200. Kind of by four times six. 1800 refined oil. I don't know. But I don't have time to fly there and back because the thing is flashing at me, Steve. Oh. Well, yeah, but. You're just like in the zone right now, trying to do this. Yeah, I'm like, I want to, I want to do it. All right, okay, uh, okay, we'll okay, do another. But... We'll do another. Yes, Fine. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, more video games. Yes. <laughs> yeah, more video games. All right. All right. Wait, is it mine? I thought it was your turn. I, I, so I, anyway. I don't know. I bamboozled. Bamboozled. Is your intro for today? I think I went first, so I think you brought us in. Whoa. Right? Sure, okay, right, cool. <laughs> no, I thought well, I, I did ended. the first. I I'm did sure the first I ended episode. the last Wait. one. Yeah, I think you stole it because you're oh. supposed to be even. <laughs> and this is episode nine. Wait, that means I brought us in. No, I brought us in. I brought us in. Yeah, it's episode, episode nine. Every episode. Right, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> bye. Go. Do, do we gotta go. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye bye.